Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is, as always, Drew, aka the Redrew89, and welcome to Minecraft. This is actually going to be a modded uh, Let's Play. It is going to be uh, the mod pack in question is actually Sky Factory, which is uh, created by the fantastic Bacon Donut over at twitch.tv slash bacon underscore donut. I highly recommend you check him out if you are not already aware of him. Uh, it would be a bit surprising if you haven't heard of him already because he is fairly popular, actually uh, like thousands of times more popular than me. So uh, yeah, I mean, if you're hearing of, of him for the first time, definitely go ahead and check him out. Uh, definitely give him a follow over there at twitch.tv and let him know that I sent you uh, just because. I don't know. Why not? So yeah. Sky Factory is a mod pack that is uh, based around the classic Skyblock style map. Those of you who are not familiar with Skyblock, well, you'll you'll see what's going on with that here in just a moment. So we're going to go ahead and create a new world, and we're going to call that world Let's Let's Play Sky Factory. If I can type, there we go. And we're not going to mess with any of the world options. There's no point in doing so. We're going to keep it on survival. I don't want to mess with hardcore because, well, chances are I'm going to fall at least once. And uh, <laughs> I don't want that to be, uh, you know, void sandwiches are, are, are tasty and all, but I don't want to throw away a world because of one. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. Now, I am doing the long progression version of this, uh, of this mod pack. There is, a, uh, there is an alternative method of doing this. Uh, there's a mod that was created specifically for this pack called Why You No Make Good Map. And basically it modifies the classic skyblock map. So instead of getting the little dirt island with the chest and all of the starter stuff in it, uh, you actually instead get a tree. And that's pretty much all you get tree and a dirt block. And bear with me real quick here. I'm going to tweak my NEI here. I don't know why it was in cheat mode, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and fix that. Uh, also, okay, so we fixed that. Also, let me check this real quick here. Uh, no, we're back. Key bindings, inventory. I'm going to change that. I always like having NEI set to tab so that that is easy to toggle on and off there. So I don't like having NEI in the way all the time. Also, let me check here. I may need to... Okay, no. Sound is good. Okay, we're good. So, yeah. We got a tree. Let's go ahead and start cutting it down. It's pretty much the only thing we can do at this point. Otherwise, we're just going to stand on top of this tree all the time, and that's not going to be very interesting, will it? So, let's go ahead and get that. Now, we've got two pieces of wood here. We want to... Go ahead and start crafting stuff from that wood right away. Of course, we're going to go ahead and get our crafting table. That's the first thing we want to do. And then we want to take a couple more of these planks, and grab ourselves some sticks to make this. This is a crook it's from Ex Nihilo, or however it's pronounced. I am kind of unsure about how that's pronounced, but uh, Ex Nihilo, or that mod and Ex Alquio or whatever, uh, those are the two mods that basically give us the opportunity, the ability to progress anywhere at all with just what we're what we have right here. Um, but the crook is useful because when you use it to break uh, leaves, it increases the drop rate for saplings. So there we go, and it also gives us a couple of other useful things here. I'm hoping I can get lucky and get it on the first tree. Otherwise, it's going to be a very tedious, long, uh, long, uh, long progression to the uh, through the early game. Not looks like I'm not having much luck though. Maybe. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and go down one more here. Get the rest of this tree kind of started here, and then. Nice. Okay, well, that's all right. I'm okay with having some foods. Oh, give me that sapling. Another sapling. Okay, well, that's that. We got seven saplings, though, so that's good news. Plenty of uh, extra stuff for, uh, for growing more 
trees. It's pretty much the only thing we're going to be able to do at this point. So let's go ahead and here we are. We've got all we've got now is a dirt block. So that's pretty much what we've got to start with. Go ahead and stick our crafting table right here and our torch on top of that. It's the only thing we've got. Let's go ahead and take our wooden plank, or yeah, our wooden logs and craft some planks. And we're going to go ahead and turn some of these into slabs. We're also going to go ahead and get, um, I think we're going to go ahead and get a barrel. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get a barrel first. Um, barrels are useful because you can use them to turn excess saplings into compost, which will then turn into uh, dirt. So you can basically get more dirt to get more trees to get more stuff, I guess. That's the best way to explain it. Um, I'm kind of messing up how I want this to work, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and fix it in here in a moment. Um, let's go ahead and just do that, and then... Oh, man, what a mess. Um, I wish I had a bigger platform. It's kind of something that I had sacrificed by... Okay, give me... Alright, cool. Um, let's see here. Can I, can I get this slab without it falling into the void? Oof, okay. Alright, excellent. So... Let's go ahead and plant our sapling. Boom. We've got six more saplings left, so let's go ahead and just go ahead and compost those guys. We don't quite have enough here. Let's go ahead and see if that apple will. Nope. Darn. So we have to wait for this tree to grow, which is probably going to take a while. So I am basically just going to sit here and wait. Uh, I've still got two wood planks. There's not a whole lot I can do with those. I think I'm going to go ahead and just do that real quick here. So that is yeah, a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit more sound, I guess. That's, that's the way to put it. Otherwise, we're just going to sit and wait. So I'm going to go ahead and cut recording while I sit and wait, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a very boring video if I just sat here and, and watched a sapling turn into a tree for the next however long it's going to take. So I will be right back, uh, and when we come back, we'll go ahead and see what happens. Okay, and we are back. The tree has grown, so let us cut it down. Actually, before we cut it down, uh, I want to use my crook, and I actually think I need to, before I use my crook, I need to punch a log off of this guy, and then craft another one so that I have an extra one. Uh, let's see here, it's four speaks, and we go ahead and craft our crook. There we go. So we got an extra crook. Now we want to take our crook. We want to buck, break the leaves. Uh, and aha! We got ourselves a silkworm. This is the important part. Important. Yeah. Muy importante. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and continue to bust these leaves real quick here. The silkworm is muy importante, and uh, we are going to go ahead and use that here in a moment. I think I'm going to grow another tree. Uh, do I want to grow another tree? Mm, maybe? I need, a, I, I need saplings, really. Um, am I getting a sapling? I'm not getting a... Aha! Okay, we got a sapling. We're good. Alright. Crisis averted. Would have been horrible, horrible end to this episode if... Uh, <laughs> If we hadn't... Oh, I got another silkworm. Sweet! And another sapling. Cool. Good with it. It is fantastic. Alright, so that's pretty much that. Let's go ahead and chop down this tree. Punch the wood. Yes. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and plant our another sapling so that we can grow another tree. And then that's when we're going to put the silkworms to use. Um, and I'll show you that here in a moment. Or well, once the you know once the tree grows, go ahead and craft the rest of our wood planks into things, yeah, things and stuff, and then we're gonna go ahead and oh, wait, I missed a log. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and plant that sapling, and go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and toss that sapling in here. Still not quite enough compost to make a dark block, but that's okay. 
Um, and we're going to go ahead and wait for this guy to grow. While we're waiting, I guess I'll go ahead and use some of this wood to make... First, I'm going to go ahead and make a chest. Because I want to be able to hold on to stuff in case I do fall into the void. Go ahead and toss some of this important, uh, we importante stuff in here. The um, books here. Um, Tinker's Construct is included, so that's cool. As well as uh, open blocks, so that's also pretty cool stuff. And we're going to go ahead and take the rest of our planks, make slabs, I guess. Actually, no, we only want one of those for now. We're going to go ahead and do this first. Make ourselves another barrel. The reasoning for that is so that I can uh, collect some rainwater once it does rain. It's going to take a while. That might not be until next episode that we get to that. But the rainwater, the bucket, the water actually is going to be useful so that we can eventually get to a uh, cobble gen, which, uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot to do before we get to that point. So there we go. And I'll go ahead and take the rest of our planks here and make some slabs. Go ahead and expand our little platform here a little bit more. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And then eh, well, let's go ahead and expand out this area so that we can ensure that we are not losing saplings and stuff. Okay, and then over here. Is eight, and eight, and eight, and eight. Uh, and then we got five more, so let's go ahead and just do this. Fill out this right here. We got three left, so we'll go ahead and do along the back here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So we're getting, we're, we're getting there, we're making progress, slowly but surely, and that's pretty much the name of the game in early game, early game Sky Factory. It's pretty slow progress, but it is progress nonetheless. So I think I will go ahead and cut here, um, when we come back, I will go ahead and demonstrate the usage of the silkworms, and then probably that'll be where we wrap things up for the time being, and then uh, we'll go ahead and, and come back to... Uh, the next episode, and uh, I'll show you guys what the next step in uh, in Sky Factory is. So be right back. All right, and we are back, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, got another tree here. Uh, so now we can. And I did a little bit of stuff off camera, actually. I kind of lied when I said that the tree that I had planted before the break was going to be how I demonstrate the silkworms, because I realized that if I didn't have an extra sapling or two after that, uh, I was kind of going to be stuck. So this is where we demonstrate the silkworms. Silkworms get put on leaves. You'll notice that they say now they are infested oak leaves and they turn a lighter shade. Let's go ahead and do that to a couple spots on this tree so that it can... Uh, spread, you'll notice that it'll start to spread throughout the tree. It takes a little while, but uh, eventually they, the leaves will turn completely white, and when they do, they will, be, uh, they will be harvestable for string, which is important. But I'm not going to tell you why it's important right now. I am going to let that wait until, uh, I think, next episode. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty much where I'm going to wrap things up. Uh, basic, you know, early game progress. I know it's a short video for my, by my standards, it's kind of a short video, but, you know, I just kind of want to ease my way into this Let's Play and uh, kind of make things, uh, kind of make things interesting as I go. Try to, try to keep from boring everybody too much. You'll see that the oak leaves here, the infested oak leaves, are starting to already turn lighter shades. Uh, and then, uh, you know, like I said, eventually it'll spread throughout the entire tree. And uh, I did get another dirt block here, so that's how that's going. Uh, got my platform a little bit bigger, made this a double chest so that I have plenty of storage space uh, going in the future, you know. Just kind of trying to... See, there we go. See, now they are uh, getting even lighter still. But uh, yeah, anyway... So that pretty much uh, covers what uh, what I wanted to accomplish this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, there you go. There's another one. It's spreading. Ah! So thanks for watching, guys. This has been Drew, a.k.a. The Redrew89. Until next time, take care.